than weeks after the hypercane moved in London and lost strength, the real long-term consequences would start to reveal themselves. One of the biggest issues would be displacement. Millions of people from coastal cities like Miami, Charleston, New York City, and Boston could be forced to evacuate with no clear timeline for when or if they could return. Entire neighborhoods might be gone, not just damaged, but wiped completely off the map. Emergency shelters in nearby states would be overwhelmed. Schools, sports arenas, and community centers would be turned into makeshift homes for families that had lost everything. Sanitation would become a growing concern. Without proper plumbing or waste management, even shelters could become health risks. Disease outbreaks could begin to spread, especially in crowded and humid conditions. Insurance companies would be flooded with claims, not just for home damage, but for destroyed cars, lost businesses, and agricultural losses. But with so many claims coming in at once, the entire system could start to buckle. People might wait weeks or even months for the financial support they need just to rebuild. Many small businesses would shut down permanently. The local economy in the hardest hit regions could collapse entirely, leaving people jobless and unsure of what to do next. 